You was walking around this party like you don't know what happens when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. The blunts go round, everybody getting drunk all night. You know we put it down, put it down all night. Hey, we go fuck around, fuck around all What's night. What's good, you two? That one, you two here, back again, once again. And today, people, today, this is. Take number two, it's starting this episode. We're here for episode number 34 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, you guys, we explored the route leading up to the top of the first mountain on Ula Ula Island. I get it mixed up. Is it Lakahani or is that the one with the Elite Four? I don't fucking know. But today, we should hopefully be taking on Sophocles in our fifth island trial. I do believe it's number five. But first, we're going to be trading our good friend Vegas Jamie, who has been playing on Pokemon Moon. And we all know that Passimian, King Julian on our team, is exclusive to Sun, and Oranguru is exclusive to Moon. So she went ahead and scooped up an Oranguru for us, and we're going to trade her our original Passimian we caught, which is Rhonda, Rhonda Rousey. So she's going to go ahead and send us an Oranguru, which I've been wanting for the longest of times. I'm sure you guys know. So if you guys are hyped for today's episode, and of course, if you're a prime member of the Abbey Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, you already know your support is greatly appreciated, and of course, you already know can't nobody let's play a game like the motherfucking Nappy Nation can let's play a goddamn game. Trade, trade, goddamn it. I figured we'd start the episode off with a nice nifty trade. So, shout out to Vegas Jamie. Thank you, Vegas Jamie, for trading with us. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There goes Rhonda. Rhonda was the first past semi we caught before King Julian came aboard. So, she's gonna go ahead and slip and slide over to. <coughs> I'm coughing. I'm <coughs> coughing. Excuse me. Oh, I'm just so excited. Oh, we got King Louie. King Louie. I told Jamie, you have to catch a male Oranguru and name it King Louie. So we have King Julian and King Louie. Oranguru's data will be added to the Pokédex. My nigga. My nigga. I like how they have them together so that you know like it's recognized that way. Haha. -ha. Haha! -ha, look at him! Look at him! He's naturally purple, that's dope. And it adds to our Pokedex as well, which I don't know if I'm trying to complete the Pokedex, but at the same time, it's, it's nice, so. Known for its extreme intelligence, this Pokemon will look down on inexperienced trainers, so it's best suited to veteran trainers. Yeah, the Pokemon Moon uh, Pokedexes are like so much nicer than PG 13 and Sun. Apparently, Sun has a savage ass Pokedex. Go figure. But. Thank you again to Jamie for trading us our Oranguru. It is dippity fucking dope. Yeah, I want to quit this trade, Jamie. But yeah, I went to Festival Plaza. I met up with Sophocles. I did all the tutorial stuff in here. Uh, I apologize if any of you guys wanted to see all of that, but how the fuck do I get up out of Festival Goddamn Plaza? It's kind of, it's kind of like weird that you have to like go to a specific place to trade and do all that stuff, but. Whatever, they're trying something new, so I, I haven't looked into it just yet, so I still need to explore Festival Plaza. I literally went in there just now, just simply to do the trade. So we'll check out King Louie here in a moment, but an update for our own squad going into this. We're trying to get everyone to level 35. We have King Julian, our past Simeon, rocking Brick Break, Bulk Up, Acrobatics, and Rock Tomb. We have Delilah, our Mudsdale, who she's going to come in handy in this uh, next island trial. Level 34, holding the soft sand power of the high horsepower, rock and rock, tune, double kick, and stomp as well. Then we have Cactus Jack, our Marini, holding the Eevee Light, level 32 with Skull, Bite, Toxic, and Venom Shock. Rupert, our Beware, level 35, holding the Quick Claw with Brick Break, Brutal Swing, Rock Tomb, and Take Down. Then we have Gabrielle, our Oricoria, level 35, holding that Sharp Beak with Air Cutter, Feather Dance, Teeter Dance, and Baton Pass. And then we have Frankie, our Pre Marina, who it's still so new to me that, she, that he's a Pre Marina. He's holding that Water MZ with Scald, Aqua Jet, Sparkling Aria, that, Aria, that signature move, and this arming voice ha so I did get quite a bit of the encounters on this route and I'm not gonna lie it is not my brightest of moments you cannot get Togo tomorrow on this mountain I went back down to the dude that asked and he said it's on like blush mountain or some shit which is by a power plant but apparently it's not this power plant or maybe it's on the other side of this power plant I don't fucking know but apparently it's not found in this area I did catch everything else that's in this area though so shout out to your boy. So we still have two side quests to do. That's the uh, Toga Damaru one. And then we have to get the Alolan Persian to show Alola Oak. Alok. So swag. But it's Hardy, Inner Focus, holding that uh, honey as well with Taunt, Quash, Stored Power, and Psych Up. They would give him Quash. They would give him fucking Quash. They really fucking would. Alright, so I think I need to scoop up a few more. Actually, no, I think I did already. Never mind. Let us go ahead and slip and slide. 
Delilah up front here. Because finally, I know I keep saying that we're going to take on the, the Sophocles today. Trial captain, trial captain, trial captain. Finally, today, we are actually going to take on Sophocles. So do not stress, do not fret, do not worry. We're going up in this biatch. We're going to make it do what the fuck it do. Hokulani Observatory. Ooh, it's fancy in here. Take this to commemorate your visit to the observatory and keep a bit of space with you. A comet shard. Hot fucking damn. It's a fragment that fell to Earth when a comet passed by our planet. You can feel the vastness of space. Ooh, what a sense of adventure. Thanks for that, buddy. We use different waves such as infrared rays and radio waves to detect celestial bodies. Alright, PK. Relax, my dude. Modern astronomical, uh, astronomical telescopes are basically like amazingly good digital cameras, you know? We don't really look through them at space so much as we have them to... What? We don't really look through them at space so much as we have them take photos of space so that we can see what's happening up there. Bro, his grammar is on fucking point. What? Got to tell, they can predict the future from the place and movement of the stars. They can see trainers' lifespans. Cleffa, when numerous meteors illuminate the night sky, sightings of Cleffa strangely increase. Huh. We uncover the universe by having our huge computer calculate and calculate until there's nothing left to calculate anymore. Please don't fail us now, computer. I don't give a shit. Let me take on this goddamn challenge. Let me body this shit. Why do you have so many fucking boxes, man, dude? What the hell? Old Malane and Sophocles are thick as thieves. They're up all day and night playing games together and whatever else they do. It's amazing they still manage to get their work done, but it's not easy on the rest of us. Are you saying they're lazy cunts? Is that what you're saying? They're lazy as hell? So we have one door there we can go through. Oh, that's it's got the totem markings on it. Oh, ooh. beep boop. It actually says beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Oh well, shit, this is supposed to be an observatory. This is a small ass place. What the hell? Oh my god. It's Nathan. It's Nathan. You're getting close to your goal! I imagine that you must have come here to attempt the trial, huh? So, uh, uh do you like Festival Plaza? Sure, I had a decent experience. Oh, if that's the case, then fine, whatever, let's get started. Right now? Right now, right here. Nathan needs to cosplay Sophocles. He looks just like him. You summon the totem Pokemon and prove your strength to it. That's what every trial boils down to, right? So I thought, why not just call the totem here from the start? So I tried a bit of this and that, and I think I whipped up a little device to call the totem Pokemon. Perhaps you're wondering why I built a machine. Here at the observatory, we also monitor sounds that we detect from outer space. There are some sounds that are inaudible to people, but Pokemon can hear just fine. We broadcast the sounds, and we have gathered terrestrially and monitor the reactions of Pokemon. The machine that summons the totem Pokemon makes use of this technology. Utilizing other sounds we have gathered, we also developed a security system here, but that was actually Big Mo's invention. Big Mo? Big Mo? Just so you know! This will actually be my first time trying it out, so I'm glad you came. I needed a test subject. Pink Totem Pokemon 2.0 Engage! Bro? Now the totem should... Yeah! No way! Did I blow a fuse? Oh! Did the door close? Let's see! We'll need to turn off the security system to get the door open. You'll have to pass an audio quiz. It, it's fine! I definitely feel a powerful presence. It's coming now! The totem Pokemon is coming! So let's get this trial going, okay? My trial's about to begin! Bro, this shit's in the dark. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. What sound do you hear? Yeah, Health. Pokemon Center. Correct opening door. G grub? Grub? Whoa! As soon as the door opened, a Pokemon came through! I'm counting on you, Nappy! A wild grubbin? Does that mean the totem Pokemon's a Vicky Bowl? Bro, I haven't seen one in game yet. Yo, I have not seen one in game yet. Is Grubbin electric type? <coughs> is he electric bug? That nigga just got body. That's what he is. I haven't seen a Vicky Volt yet. Bro, it's gonna be wild. Wait. Excuse me, I hate being sick. Uh, ah! Uh, I knew you could do it, Nappy! 
Oh, and just when I said it, the door closed again! Ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna be okay! The total Pokemon is on its way! Detected presence of approaching totem Pokemon! Bro? In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. You hear this sound when you get what? A TM or Rotom Dex? I'm gonna say Rotom Dex. Correct! Opening door! Charge! Wow! As soon as the door opened, a Pokemon came through! This one's up to you too, Nappy! So it's grubbing at Charge Bug, and the total Pokemon's gotta be a big ass fucking Mickey Mole! Bruh! I can't wait. That's his cry? That's dope! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. And also, seeing that route reminded me. Reminded me that, uh. In the last episode, I don't know if it was the last episode or episode before that. How'd that nigga live? Uh, they were talking about a Pokemon from Kalos that walked around a leaf in its mouth. You guys, let me know that that's, that's Pancham. I don't know why I didn't think of that. It's beyond me. D just thought just never crossed my mind. It's Pancham. That's what it's supposed to be. Alright, Charger Bug. You about to get this dick! This big old horse dick! Whoa. That's actually a thing. Let's stop. Pokemon just got a little too real. But yo, that's dope ass cry for, uh, not Vicky Volt, for Charger Bug. And Delilah's level 35. Look at that. Look at that. That HP stat, though. Mmm. It's delicious. I know you could do it, Nappy! Oh, and would you look at that? The door closed again while I was fighting my jaw! It's gonna be okay. The totem Pokemon is on its way. So this nigga's whole trial is in the dark. Totem Pokemon still approaching! It's a Vicky Vault, I can hear it flying. The security system has been 50% shut down. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. Which Pokemon's cry is this sound? Uh... I think that's... It's, it's either Grubbin or Charger Bug. It's one of those two. I'm gonna say Charger Bug. Correct! Opening door! It, it, it looks like the door is about to open! Charge? I, I know it! I'm counting on you again, Nappy! Another Charger Bug? Another Charger Bug. I was just saying, I'm pretty sure it's the second part. The wah wah. That's the new cricket tune. Whoop! Wah wah. All right, Charger Bug. You about to get body? I definitely have to use a Charger Bug in some playthrough of this game. It's got to be dope, 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 dope. Hey. Hey, can you not? Thanks. Appreciate it if you just didn't. Really appreciate it if you just fucking didn't, my dude. I really would. I really, really fucking would. See, now I wanna, like, now I know it's a fucking Vicky Volt. I can't high horsepower it. I have to rock to it. It's rock to is super effective. You know, I might still just high horsepower the fuck out of that goddamn Vicky Volt and hope for the goddamn best. Fuck it. Fuck it. I know you could do it, Nappy. And then, of course, the door goes and shuts again. Fool me once, shame on the door. Fool me twice, shame on the security system. Fool me thrice, shame on me, I guess. Here it comes, we're picking up traces of the Totem Pokemon extremely close by! Totem Pokemon incoming! I like how there's no one else that sees this. Bro? It's gonna be a big bad Vicky Volt. This is the final security question. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. What appears when you hear the following music? A totem Pokemon. Duh. Correct opening door. Huh? This sound. This presence I sense. Oh my god. Th there it is! The totem Pokemon! This is your time to shine, Nappy! Vicky Volt, the totem Pokemon of the Hokulani Observatory has appeared. Bro? I've never seen it in game. Bro, that's dope! Totem Vicky Wolf. Don't increase your special attack. 
its stats rose. Just all of its stats in general just rose. Watch him fucking, uh, whatchamacallit me. Bro. Bro, I'm gonna high horsepower him, because why not? He's bug electric, right? He's got levitate! Oh my god, I forgot! Okay, so I heard that, that, um, uh, uh, Grubbin and Charger Bug are physical attackers, but Vicky Volt's a special attacker. It has, like, base 145 special attack. So all of its stats just raise? That's fucking wild. You know what? I don't give a fuck about the Charger Bug. You use Helping Hand or whatever it is that you want to do all you want. I'm fucking rock to him in this Vicky Volt. Try me, my boy. Try me, my boy. Bro. Bro. Yeah! Levitate that, bitch. I forgot he had levitate. Watch my Giga Drain. Watch my Giga Drain. He's bug biting me. Stamina enough. String shot? It's not gonna make a difference because I'm fucking rock tombing you niggas. Yo, it's alright. We got this. Delilah has this in the bag. Delilah has this one in the bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I also heard that you can't get a Vicky Vault until like really late game. Ice grip. Like apparently, like you can get a uh, Grubbin and it evolve into Charger Bug, and then you have to evolve him like at some rock or something towards the end of the game, on some mountain or some shit or some other. I don't know. Huh. Nice and three code on the Vicky Vault. Slow that shit down, my boy. Slow that shit down, my boy. We're not playing these games, and the Charger Bug can go to charge a hell for all I care. I still think Vicky Vault's absolutely dope. He's such a cool bug type. I'm kind of sad they're not using him. It was one of those things, again, where it's like... I, like, I just figured that everyone their mother was going to use a Grubbin because it was at the start of the fucking, uh... game. Goodbye, Vicky Vault. I want to see what a shiny Vicky Vault looks like. My boy, goodbye. <clears throat> Maybe we won't turn the experience here. Oh, we said whenever it gets to 35. I just want a high horsepower or something, okay? I forgot that that thing has levitate. They gave it pretty much three typings without the weakness, because it's like a flying type. It's off the ground. So its only weakness is whatever its bug typing is weak to, which it's not weak to flying. Flying's neutral. So it should, did we really just miss? Are we really just missed that? All right, Delilah. Come on, Delilah. How are you missing this high? It's 95% accurate. Oh, he's mud slapping me. I'm gonna say it's 95% accurate. Don't make me feel bad about... Bro? Bro. Bro? Can we stop these shenanigans, Charger Bug? The Totem Vicky Volt's gone now. You don't need to keep doing this. There we go. Bop! Yeah! <laughs> that bug just got stepped on. Squashed. Good job, Delilah. Good job, Delilah, carrying the squad. Carrying the squad through that one. That Vicky Volt couldn't touch us. I wonder why they didn't give him Giga Drain. I, I feel like that's just something he should have. Let's clean you up. You did a swell job. An absolute stu stupendous job. I appreciate you. You're smart, you're loyal. I appreciate you. Look at these boots. These Uggs. Delilah got on. Here, hold on. I'm going to give you... I'm gonna give you a special bean. Here, you can have that. Oh, it's got a pattern on it, so you know it's good. <clears throat> Lose your mind. Lose your mind. You want, you want another one? You want another one? Here, I'll give you this butter bean right here. Ah, ah, ah. That's a popcorn jelly bean for you. Yeah. There you go. You're happy. You're fell. You're, you're fell. You're, are you full or you're fed? You're fell? Everybody eats. Fuck it. Go ahead. <clears throat> another totem down. Oh shit. And the lights are back on. Why are you so angry all the time, my boy? Why? The shirt says 763. Is that Balance Sweet's number? So Sophie! Big Mo! Oh, that's Big Mo. Because his name's Mo Lane. I get it. Nice work, Captain. You helped Nappy here through his trial, and your experiment was a success. It seems that your Ping Totem Pokemon 2.0 uses too much electricity. If we can get a little assistance from Charger Bug, we should be able to make some improvements. Here, Nappy! I give this Electrium Z to reward you for beating the Totem Pokemon! Give it. Give it, give it, give it.
Yeah. Wait, no. It's mirrored. Get my hand up. No, it's like this. Yeah. There we go. Fuck it. You watching? Ugh. I got it. Big dog. I was fine when the power was off. Jeez. Now that you can see me, I feel nervous. I'm not sure what to say. Thanks, or uh, congratulations, you passed my trial. Don't be self-conscious, Nathan. It's all right. Congratulations on clearing your trial, and you, Sophocles, you did well as captain. I was really nervous. Don't you worry, I'm sure I made the right choice in naming you captain, even if you are my cousin. Ah. Usually the island kahuna is who appoints with the captains, but there are some uh, uh, unusual circumstances here on Ula Ula. So somehow I ended up captain. But you're really great, Nappy. I see. Then let me reward you. Stelium Z? Just like that? Oh, because he's got a Metang. Well, shit, we got two of them for what? I ain't mad. This is one of the Z crystals that I collected long ago during my own island challenge to prove my strength and that of my Pokemon. So it seems fitting that it go from me to you. Take it and use it well. And if we're done here, Nappy, could I ask you to do a favor for me? Professor Kakui forgot this. Bro. We get it. He's the Mask Royale game. You don't have to make it any more obvious. He said he would be going back to Mally Garden. Could you take it to him? Maybe next time we can battle. They're dropping clues. So the professor's back in Mally Garden again. Finally, give him that mask, my friend. They're dropping clues for more than one reason. Number one, I found out by reading the guide that apparently you can battle all of the trial captains. After you beat the kahuna of the island, you can then go back and battle them. So that makes five trial captains that we can battle. So once we finish all the trial captains, we're going to go and have an entire episode where we just go and fucking battle them, rebattle them all over again. And Lima is going to be super easy. He's going to have like level 14s or whatever because you're supposed to do it as you go. But they never let you know that you can do that. This is the first time that they had any sort of reference to, hey, we can battle again. You know what I mean? So we'll come back and battle that nigga sometime soon. Haha. -ha. So we need to go back to Mali Garden. And the only mon that I didn't catch, like I said on that route, was Pancham. That was a dope ass little trial, though. I, I appreciate it. I appreciated the, the, the skill that goes between that. But yeah, once you beat the Kahuna, it's like so many different things unlock on the island. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit and I'm going to go through... We're going to fly. We're not some peasant scum riding the bus. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through the guide and like pick apart all the different little things that we need And I'll go back and whatever's not important I'll just get off screen, but like important things like rebattling the trial captains We're actually gonna do on screen. I don't know. I might stream it. Just make it like one decently length episode or some shit Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see But I think before we deliver this mask to Kukui, we're actually gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode here And also I like how they gave us a Steelium Z which tells me that there isn't a trial captain or Kahuna that is based around steel types Mm. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play, where we finally took on Sophocles after all this build up, and of course, if you're a prime member of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you're already no, oh, your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, you know, can't nobody let's play a game like the motherfucking Happy Nation let's play a game. Thank you all so much for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. We out this bitch. Bye.